let's start now. So please be seated comfortably. Sit on your yoga mat. Maybe you can sit on the block or folded blanket or just on the floor. Just make yourself comfortable. And check your knees lower than the hips. Okay. And then inhale and lengthen from the base of the spine upwards to the crown of the head. From the hips to your armpits. Inhale, lift your arms and take your shoulders back. Relax your shoulder blades. Flat on your upper back, hands on your thighs, thumb and finger connected, chin level, back of the head, moving slightly back to elongate your neck. Close your eyes, notice your whole body, your whole posture, deepen your breath. On the inhalation, breathe in deep into the abdomen, middle chest, upper chest. And as you exhale, exaggerate. Draw your tummy muscles in, exhale fully. And again, inhale, breathing deep, expand in all directions. And as you exhale, exaggerate, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze your tummy muscles in, exhale fully, and so on. A few deep, comfortable breath. And as you keep in your breath, a deep and flowing, Remind yourself about your intention. We all have intentions. Your intention can be very small or very big. Your intention can be just for this yoga class or for a day, for a few days ahead. And if you are in doubt, ask yourself how you committed to yourself. How are you committed to your health? And find the inspiration in your answer. Keep your breath deep, flowing, enjoyable. Through the whole of the practice, we just keep breathing deeply. We need lots of oxygen. That's very important, healing and anti-inflammatory oxygen into every cell of the body. On your next inhale, open your eyes, relax your arms and your legs, and please come on your all fours. We do cut and the cow stretch. So move the block to the side, we'll need that block later, and come on your all fours. Hands beneath your shoulders, knees directly beneath the hips, and turn your toes under. If you look back at your feet, turn your toes under, space between your feet, space between your knees, about hips width apart, and then inhale and lengthen. You try to move arms forward and the hips back. You want to lengthen through the sides, then soften, melt between your shoulder blades, and then inhale and look up. As you exhale next, chin to your chest and round, exhale fully. Inhale, abdomen down, lift your heart, lift your tail, and look up. Exhale and round. This is your cut stretch. Inhale as you look up, you're lifting your tail, and the cow stretch. And again, exhale and round. Inhale and look up. Lovely. Let's do once more. Exhale and round. Inhale. Look up and then bring your back parallel to the floor in neutral position. And we're going to take knees back, knees away from the hips. Just step back a little bit more and we come up to down facing dog. Squeeze your arms, squeeze your shoulders and then lift the hips high, as high as you can. Press all finger pads into the floor and if you want to look at your hands, hands just check. Spread your fingers wide, press all finger pads into the floor Squeeze your arms, squeeze your shoulders, and start to sport walk. Move the hips back, and then bend right knee, then the left. Let's do that a few times. We start to stretch the back of the legs. Nice and easy. Feel lovely stretch for your hamstrings, back of the legs, back of your calves, your hamstrings, all having a lovely stretch. And then on your next inhale, Come up high on your tiptoes and let's stretch a little bit more. Maybe you can straighten your legs now, maybe not, don't worry. 
Okay, push the hips back and back and back. Heels down towards the floor, have a good stretch. And then come up on your tiptoes, look between your hands, bend your knees and walk towards your hands into your forward bend. Okay, make space between your feet, hips width apart, or a little wider if you feel very tight in your lower back. Take your feet wider and then squeeze the legs, bend your knees if you need, move your hands to the hips, lift your elbows, make your shoulder blades flat on your upper back, lift your chin and come up standing. Squeeze the legs as you come up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze as you lift in. And then exhale and relax your arms. Let's just roll the shoulders, soften, 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 relax, relax, relax. Interlace your fingers, invert your hands and stretch. Stretch and lengthen and start to move from side to side. You start to stretch the sides of the body in. And I want you to engage your core muscles, squeeze your tummy muscles in and gently move in from side to side. Mm. This is lovely stretch. You start to warm up the muscles around the shoulders, the hips. Mm. Okay. And then come back to the middle. Relax your arms and roll your shoulders again. Relax, relax, relax. Brilliant. And we do a little bit more shoulder stretch. If that was enough, this stretch was enough, maybe repeat the same. Or maybe we can go a little bit further. Inhale, lift your arms, hold your right wrist, lengthen upwards, and then pull yourself to the left, just a little bit more. And if it's appropriate, balance is good, and you can step back with your right foot, step back, and stretch a little bit more. And maybe even move that right foot to the side and go on out of edge of the foot. So, but please do listen to your body. You don't have to do everything. If you want to have deep stretch, so this is your option, Okay, deep breath, and then come back, inhale, come back, relax your arms, okay, just roll your shoulders, okay, and we change, inhale, stretching your arms upwards, now hold your left wrist, lengthen, pull yourself to the right, and maybe this is enough, enjoy the stretch, or step back if that's okay with your balance, and go a little bit more, or take your foot further away, go and flex that foot, go on out of edge on the left foot and stretch more. Brilliant stretch and then come back. Inhale and lift. Exhale, relax your arms and roll the shoulders, just soften again. Relax, relax. So we, we warmed up shoulders nicely. So come to the front of your mat and we do a lovely sequence. Please do listen to your body. You don't have to do everything. Okay. Take space between your feet, hips width apart or wider if you feel very tight today in your hips. Take your hands to your heart, inhale, lift your sternum, keep your heart lifted, exhale, relax your arms, and then inhale, gentle back bend or just stretching upwards and as you exhale, forward bend, bend your knees for the first forward bend. Then inhale on your finger button, stretch forward, lengthen away from the hips, squeeze the legs and bow. And we do it again, inhale, stretch. It's okay to have your knees bent forward a lot. Exhale, squeeze the legs and bow a little deeper. We do it again, inhale and stretch. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze the legs and bow even deeper. And then move your hands by the side of your heels. Step back with your right, right foot back, high leg lunge or lower leg lunge. If you want to take it easy, back knee down. Squeeze the legs, lift your chest, take a deep breath into your chest and then step back into the plank or half plank. Take a moment, what is more suitable, plank with straight legs or maybe just half plank with the knees down, you can do that easier option. Squeeze your arms, squeeze your shoulders, lift your tummy muscles up, look straight, inhale and as you exhale, lean forward and then bend your knees or just bend your elbows and lie down on your tummy. Point your toes back, shoulders lifted. Let's exaggerate. Lift your shoulders, squeeze your shoulders at the back, elbows. Think, think about like hugging your chest with your elbows. Lengthen the tailbone and come up to raised cobra. It doesn't matter how far, maybe just halfway. Soften, soften your buttocks. Move your shoulders down. Do the double chin, look straight, inhale. And as you exhale, drag your hands back and stretch and lengthen forward. Keep your shoulders lifted. Toes under, down facing dog, or come on your all fours, and then down facing dog. 
lifting the sitting bones high, as high as you can, and then push the thigh bones back, heels down, enjoy the stretch. And if I want you to check again your hands, spread your fingers wide, press all finger pads and the four corners of the hands into the floor and stretch back. On your next inhale, on your tiptoes, look between your hands, right leg up and see if you can step forward, big step forward or help with your hand and bring that right foot forward back where you started, then squeeze the legs, lengthen the tailbone and lift your chest. Take a deep breath, no rush, engage your tummy muscles before you step in, lift your tummy muscles and step forward into your forward bend. Check space between your feet, hips width apart or wider, squeeze the legs, keep that energy, press down with your feet and come up, inhale, lift, side to the sun, exhale, hands to your heart, check that you are at the front of the mat, inhale, exhale. Inhale and stretch. Exhale, forward bend, strong legs, squeeze, 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 touch the floor or your shins. Inhale on your finger pads and stretch forward, maybe holding the floor or your legs. Exhale and bow. Now hands by the side of your heels, step back with your left. Left foot back, high leg lunge or lower leg lunge, take a deep breath. And then we're all going to bring that back knee down to the floor for the crescent moon pose. If your knee very sensitive, place blanket under your knee and then squeeze the legs, come up with your hands on your front knee. And what we did in the cut stretch, we take that tailbone between the sitting bones, engage your tummy muscles more and then stretch your arms upwards. Inhale, lift. Front hip moving forward, take back of the waistline back and your shoulders and your arms and your thumbs. Extend and stretch, enjoy the stretch. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, touch the floor. We're going to step back to down facing dog. Take a deep breath. Down facing dog, deep breath. And then we're going to change side. Inhale on your tiptoes. Look between your hands, left leg up. Step forward, all knees down and then left foot forward. Now bring your right knee down on the floor and again padding for your sensitive knee if you need it. Squeeze the legs. Lengthen the tailbone, tummy in, and then stretch your arms. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze your legs. Breathe deeply and lean back as far as you can. Keep your back leg working strong. Press your toes into the floor and your tummy muscles engaged. Inhale. And as you exhale, strong legs, squeeze the legs, touch the floor. Step back to down facing dog. Take a deep breath there. Press all finger pads into the floor, extend. So we start to move more energy around the hips. So just notice how you feel there. And think about your plank or half plank now. Choose your option. Squeeze your arms and your shoulders. Deep breathing. And if it's appropriate, we're going to take right foot on top of the left heel, wedge your first and the second toe there. Squeeze your arms, squeeze your shoulders, and keep lifting your tummy muscles. Your legs, strong and then we're going to change okay if that's okay don't worry to do everything okay left foot on top of the right heel squeeze the legs keep your tummy lifted lift 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 your tummy muscles deep breath in exhale bring your feet down and then lean forward knees elbows or just bend your elbows lie down point your toes back Slow, come up to raise cobra. Lengthen the tailbone and lift. Shoulders down. Put the double chin, double chin, double chin. Lift your chin a little. Inhale. And as you exhale, drag your hands back and stretch forward. Lengthen away from the hips. Shoulders still lifted. Toes under. Down facing dog. Deep breath and down facing dog. And again, check your shoulders. Squeeze your shoulders and then stretch from the back of the heart through the arms to your finger pads and upwards to the hips. Create lots and lots of length and then think about your legs. Inner thighs moving back, heels down. Inhale on your tiptoes, look between your hands, left leg up and step forward, take a big step forward. Back where you started, 
don't worry if you need to help with your hand help with your hand and then bring your right knee down to the floor squeeze the legs and we go into the twist so bring your hands to your front knee first yeah, and we go into the twist remember if you if you for any reason not practicing the closed twist you're going to practice the open twist okay so squeeze the hips lengthen the tailbone and we're going to engage the tummy muscles lengthen through the spine and taking your right elbow to your left knee so this is closed twist okay Rachel you're going to go into the opposite direction you go into the open twist so this is one option just check your back how you feel or maybe you can hook your elbow go to deeper twist and bring your hands together lengthen 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 take that top shoulder back take back of the head back and extend deep breathe and squeeze the hips and if you feel okay this is so easy i need a little bit more effort maybe don't worry about everything maybe lift your back knee off the floor so if you feel this is steady balance is good today you want more effort deep breath inhale and as you exhale squeeze the legs look down bring your back knee down bring your hands on the floor and step back to down facing dog let's take a good stretch push the hips high as high as you can and the inner thighs moving back stretch stretch extend fully through the whole back of the body lovely to stretch after the twist and we change side inhale on your tiptoes look between your hands right leg up and step forward big step forward back to start it i'm just going to move different to different side so if we have right foot forward knee above your ankle bring your back knee down to the floor squeeze the legs and come up with your hands on your front knee so just take your knee above your ankle is that okay for your knee lengthen the tailbone tummy in and we go into the twist Rachel you go to opposite direction okay left elbow to your right knee lengthen the tailbone and look to the side maybe this is just enough this is closed twist or maybe you can go a little lower and hook your elbow over the knee hands together if possible and then extend and stretch open 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 okay well done check how you feel squeeze the hips can you lift your tummy muscles and maybe even straighten your back leg maybe not but don't worry to do everything strong back leg if you straighten that back leg breathing into your chest another deep breath and then exhale look down bend your knee place your hands on the floor and step back down facing dog let's check how you feel now okay so in yoga we we bring in more more energy and also we build in this sensitivity to the body the awareness how we feel straight and just check with yourself how you feel now on your next inhale on your tiptoes look between your hands bend your knees and walk towards to your hands into your forward bend walking 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 then make space between your feet hips width apart or widen squeeze the legs bend your knees if you need press down with your feet and come up inhale lift exhale hands to your heart take a deep breath in exhale relax your arms inhale gentle back bend or just stretching upwards exhale forward bend strong legs inhale on your finger pads and stretch forward exhale and bow hands by the side of your heels right foot back high leg lunge or knee down choose your option squeeze the legs deep breathing into your chest and we come up to warrior two pose look at your back foot and hop behind your left foot now squeeze the legs before you come up you need to engage your core muscles squeeze your tummy muscles in and come up standing big circle with your right arm and lift this is your warrior two pose looking over the left okay checking your hips now move both hips back you want to see your back hip in line with your knee 
and your back ankle. And if you need more space, just take that back foot back and back and back, sit lower. And when we sit lower, we're checking that front knee, okay? We double check that front knee. Knee stays above your ankle, just checking that knee above your ankle, squeeze the legs, core muscles engaged, open your heart, breathe deeply. On your next inhale, stretch a little bit more and then stretch forward, elbow to your knee and your right arm over the head and you press your back foot into the floor stronger. This is your extended side stretch, deep breath. If you need more effort, that left hand goes at the back of your left heel, if that's appropriate, but don't worry to do everything. Breathe in deeply, inhale. And as you exhale, engage your core muscles, look down, touch the floor, and then step back to down facing dog and take a deep breath there. Lift your second bones high, thigh bones back, heels down, enjoy the stretch, lovely stretch. And then come up high on your tiptoes, look between your hands, right leg up and step forward, big step forward, back where you started. Looking at your left foot and you're going to hop behind your right foot. This is your warrior two on this side. Squeeze the legs and come up standing. Inhale, lift and then look over your right. Let's check that front knee above your front ankle. Okay, on then hips, checking the hips. Hips moving back, you want to see your back hip in line with your knee and your back ankle. Open your chest, deep breathing. If you need a little bit more effort, sit lower, but double check your front knee again. You're always checking that front knee, not overextended. Inhale, stretch and lengthen, and then we go for extended side stretch. Right elbow to your right knee, left arm over the head, breathe. Okay, press your back foot into the floor stronger to have that lovely stretch on the side. Very nice, and maybe touch the floor with your right hand, but don't worry. Maybe this is not appropriate for today, and that's okay. Deep breath. Inhale. And as you exhale, look down, engage your core muscles, touch the floor, step back, breathe. So let's breathe deeply again, remind yourself. We need lots of oxygen to work in muscles on your next inhale, on your tiptoes, look between your hands, plank or half plank. So again, okay, choose your option, no rush, squeeze your arms, squeeze your shoulders. And if it's okay, we're going to do again cross-legged. Okay, right foot on top of the left heel, squeeze the legs, tummy muscles lifted. Okay, stay, breathe. Great, change inside. Take another foot on top of the right heel, squeeze the legs, squeeze, 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 tummy lifted. Look at your hands and the energy on your hands, like you're trying to spread the floor beneath you. Inhale, exhale, release and go down, knees, elbows, or just bend your elbows, point your toes back, slow come up to raise cobra. Press your legs into the floor, lengthen the tailbone, shoulders moving away from your ears down. Look at that whole chin, keeping the back of the neck long. Then lift your chin, inhale. And as you exhale, drag your hands back, stretch forward, lengthen, lengthen away from the hips. Shoulders lifted, keep your shoulders strong, toes under, down facing dog, deep breath. Again, checking how you feel, all the physical sensations being very sensitive to your body and then come up high on your tiptoes look between your hands bend your knees and walk towards your hands into your forward bend make space between your feet hips width apart or wider squeeze the legs press down with your feet and come up strong legs squeeze squeeze, squeeze. lift salute to the sun exhale hands to your heart Take a deep breath, relax your arms, have a drink. Okay, I have water here with me, have a drink. Very good. And we continue with the balance. So let's do the three pause. 
So if you are in the garden, find a tree in front of you. You're going to absorb that tree. So right foot, somewhere where you feel comfortable. Maybe just like so, with the heel on inner leg. Or maybe move your foot beneath your knee or above your knee. And if you need support, come to the wall. And just hold the wall with one finger if you need it. Okay, and let's take a moment. So when you're choosing your variation, try to avoid your knee joint. Your foot goes either lower than the knee or higher. Okay, so choose your option and then bring your hands to the hips or just one hand if you're holding something. Okay, and we're going to think about engaging the energy towards the midline. So you're pressing your foot into your leg, leg into the foot, that's drawing towards the midline. Hips drawing in towards the middle of the pelvis, core muscles engaged, and bring your hands to your heart. Just look straight ahead, find that point, or oh, find your tree. And when you're ready, inhale, lift your sternum and stretch your arms upwards. And keep lengthening, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Enjoy this balance. Okay. Spread your fingers like a branches on the tree top. Also helpful for the balance if you take your arms a little wider. Okay. Core muscles engaged. Easy, steady breathing. Feel steady and strong in any life situation. Just thinking about the qualities of the tree. Inhale. Bring your hands together and slow draw your hands through the midline to your heart and then relax. Relax and shake your legs. Shake, shake, shake. Relax, relax, relax. Okay, we change side. Again, look straight ahead. Find that tree or the point. Okay, and move your left foot somewhere where you feel, okay, this is just right for me for today. Okay, beneath your knee, above your knee, hands to the hips. And again, engaging all the energy towards the midline. Pressing foot into the leg, leg into the foot, squeeze the hips, tummy muscles engaged. Okay, hands to your heart. Remind yourself, steady breathing. Inhale. Lift your sternum and stretch upwards. Stretch your fingers like a branch is on the treetop. Great balance. And if you need the wall, that's fine. Hold the wall just with one finger. Sometimes we need just tiny, tiny support. And that's okay. We accept the support. Lengthen, stretch upwards. Breathe deeply. Take another deep breath. And then bring your hands together. Take your hands to your heart. Relax your legs and shake your legs. Shake, shake, shake. Relax, relax, relax. That was great stretch. So I, I want us to do the forward bend and I give you options. So we, we practice yoga for, for some time and you might feel like you need a little bit more effort in your forward bend and I'll show you how to do it at the wall. So this is the base strong stretch. So you're going to find the wall, so I'm going to come to this wall. And you come, you face the wall, you go to your forward bend, maybe start with your knees bent, and then you're going to walk in. You're going to walk towards the wall, walk in, walk in, walk in, and you're going to rest against the wall with your back, with the back of the head. And this is where you feel extra stretch. So, but please do, don't work over pain. So, and maybe I can come a little bit closer and I'm going to stay there and enjoy the stretch. My shoulder blades flat against the wall as well. Okay, my legs working, I'm going to squeeze my legs in towards the midline. And when you finish, bend your knees and step back before you come up. And then come up with your knees bent. Okay, if you practice here without the wall, it's all the same. You just go into your forward bend, you get your variation, maybe holding the elbows and, and then start to straighten the legs. But don't worry, you don't have to straighten the legs. You want your pelvis to tip forward, not back. If that happens, just watch me for a second. If this happens when your pelvis tips back, that's no good for your lower back. So you just bend your knees more forward and tip the pelvis forward and forward and maybe stay there. When you come up again, watch your back. Back straight uh, when you come up. Okay, let's stretch. 
Okay, so choose what you want to do. Maybe come to the wall, you're going to face the wall, then go to forward bend and then walk towards the wall and lean against it. Okay, all three standing, take your feet hips width apart or wider. I, I quite like to have my feet wider than the hips because that gives me more space for the hips. Okay, and let's start with the knees bent, lengthen and then fold. Fold into your forward bend. Hold the floor or hold your legs or maybe hold your elbows. So that gives you more stretch for the sides of the body as well. Listen to your body. I want you to squeeze your feet and your shins towards each other or towards the midline. And then think about your inner thighs moving back when you're straightening the legs. But don't worry to do everything. If you have to keep your knees bent, that's absolutely fine. Knees bend forward a lot if you need. Listening to your lower back. Gently, gently stretching. Let's stay for another four, five deep breath. No rush. Super strong legs, feet in your shins, join in. The inner thighs moving back and gives you lots of space for the hips, for the lower back. Breathe. Super strong legs. Lengthening away from the hips. Do your armpits. Side body long. Lower back is comfortable. Watch your lower back, please. Legs joining. The inner thighs moving back. Another deep breath. And then we're going to come up slow, squeeze the legs, bend your knees forward, hold your hips, lift your elbows, make your shoulder blades flat on your upper back, lift your chin and then come up. Squeeze, 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 squeeze your legs and then come up. Exhale and relax your arms, relax your shoulders, relax and soften. And then we're going to squat and sit on the floor. So if squat's appropriate for you, take your feet wider. Yeah, and then also, Rachel, if you need to hold the, this chair, I'll show you how to do that. Okay. This is my chair. Okay. So this is the chair. If you need to use the chair, you can hold the chair and then you're going to squat like that. Slow, slow, slow. Hold the chair if you need. Okay. And then use the chair when you come up. Press into the chair and come up. Okay. So this is the option, easier option with the chair. Okay. Or we can try to do it without chair, take your feet wide. Take your feet widen to the edges of your mat, stretch your arms in front. Okay. Lift your toes upwards, that gives you more support for your knees. And push the hips back and your knees. So we're trying to push the knees back and the hips back halfway. Engage your tummy muscles and then come up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, relax your arms. I'm just going to change my side so I can see you on my big screen. Okay, and again, inhale, exhale again, halfway, or maybe a little lower. Don't worry to go lower. Hold on, and then engage your tummy muscles and come up. Inhale and lift. Okay, relax your arms. We go even lower if that's okay for you. Stretch your arms. Inhale. Exhale. Push the hips back and your knees back. Getting lower. If that's appropriate for your knees, for your hips, for the lower back. Okay, and if you're happy to be there very low, bring your hands together with your elbows, take your knees wider apart. But remember, you don't have to do everything. Okay, maybe you just need to hold the chair and it's fine. Okay, you don't have to go very low. How's your inner arches? If you look at your feet, do you have your inner arches? Lift your inner arches up, restore them. That's great. Maybe for that you need to lift your toes up and this is a good way. Lift your toes upwards, restore your inner arches. Great stretch for the lower back. So if you have a lot of tension, do the squats. They're great for releasing tension around your lower back. Deep breath. Now I want you to engage all your core muscles and you're going to sit on the floor. Can you sit on the floor? Do you need to hold the floor? Hold the floor if you need and then sit on the floor or sit in your fashion way and then stretch your legs in front 
and give your legs a little shake. Just relax, 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 relax your legs. That's what, that was very good, good practice. So we're going to go a little bit more into the hips and the inner thighs. Sit on the block, please, or the folded blanket. Okay, just sit comfortably on it and then bring your feet together. We just want to bring a little bit more energy for the inner thighs. So also, inner thighs are very important for mobility of the lower back and the hips. Okay, let's do this movement. Bring your feet together, press your feet against each other, hold your shins, inhale and lengthen, and as you exhale, core muscles engaged, fold forward. Okay, and again, inhale and lengthen, exhale, engage your core muscles, fold forward. And if you bend your elbows a lot now, move your elbows wide again, closer to your knees, press your elbows into your legs, legs into your elbows, and keep moving your inner thighs back, thigh bones back. You feel that your inner thighs already got in, engaged a lot as you press in your arms, into your legs, legs into the arms. Press, press, press. Feel that a great stretch and also lots of here, lots of engagement on your inner thighs. Okay, giving your inner thighs a little workout. Squeeze your feet, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Okay, we're going to come up. Inhale. Come up, relax your legs. We do once more. So relax your legs, relax, relax. And if sitting on the block, it was very easy. Lower back is fine, maybe sit on the floor now, move the block to the side. So this is a little bit more advanced option now, if that's appropriate. And again, feet together, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze your feet. Okay, inhale and lengthen, exhale, engage your core muscles, fold forward. And again, move your elbows wide, press your elbows into your legs, legs into your elbows. Create good resistance until you feel again your inner thighs got involved. So you have a good workout for your inner thighs. Stretch forward, stretch, stretch. And you can stop here. This is already a good posture. Lots of openings for the lower back and the hips. And if you can easily hold the floor, maybe hold the floor. And maybe even walk your hands a little forward into your forward bend. And if you can lift the hips off the floor, go for it. But don't worry. Okay, listen to your body. You don't have to do everything. If your hips can lift, lots of energy there then go a little lower and this is a super stretch for the lower back for the hips watch your knees in this posture okay sometimes it's too much for your knees okay hips moving back and up becoming a little lighter lifting off the floor take a deep breath and then come back move your hands back to your feet Stretch your legs in front and give your legs a little shake. Shake, shake, shake. Relax, relax, relax. Okay, we're going to lie down on the back now. Do a little self-massage. Okay, lie down, bring your knees to your chest and rock from side to side. From side to side. This is a lovely self-massage. And then with each hand on top of your knee, let's do rolling movements clockwise direction a few times, then anti-clockwise direction few times nice and easy should feel nice okay. no pain okay just nice and easy massage and you can do this massage for your back any time of the day so when you feel you're tired okay just remember this lie down on the floor on the blanket or on your yoga mat and just do these little movements just to ease your back just have a little break during the day. Very nice. And then roll over to your side. Roll over to your side, come up to the sitting, okay, and we do the twist. Okay. Bend your right leg. And then take your right foot outside of the left leg, hug your knee and sit straight. And maybe this is just enough for your twist. And we all check the back. How's the back doing? Back is straight, upright. Okay, Rachel, you're going to do this option. You're just going to keep your legs wide and then you go into the open twist. We're going to the closed twist and you just have lots of space there, legs wide. Okay, so more advanced options when we lean to the left and we're taking left foot to the right 
and we sit on the floor. So we want to keep hips level. Sit on the blanket if you need to keep your hips level. Okay, and then stretch your right arm. Inhale, stretch and lengthen. Exhale, opening into the twist. Finger pass behind you, closer to your sacrum. Keep the back very tall. Engage your core muscles, shoulder back. And then we stretch left arm. Inhale, stretch. And hook the elbow over the knee, if that's easy for you. Just check if that's, if that's okay for you. Or just hug your knee again. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right shoulder back. Tummy muscles in, moving into the deeper twist. And again, inhale, stretch and lengthen. Keep the length. Engage your core muscles and open. For the twist, it's very important to keep the length. And what we do here, we open the front of the chest. Okay, deep breathing. Lift your chin a little. Relax your neck. Tilt your head slightly back. On your next inhale. Come back to the middle. Just hug that knee for a moment. Sit straight. Shoulders back. Take your ears back. Keep your neck long and soft. Let's just relax neck. And if you have both legs crossed, try to do this. Look at your right leg and don't move your feet. Lift the hips and go 360 degrees around and then sit on the floor again. Or just change the legs. Okay. Changing the legs like so. Bend your left. Okay, Rachel, you're going to take your left foot to the side. You have lots of space. Okay, and the rest of the class, left foot to the right, or maybe even lean to the right, right foot to the left. Okay, and just again, check out the hips. See, sitting level, feel them steady on the floor. Inhale, left arm. Exhale, opening. Inhale again, lengthen. Exhale, engage your core muscles and open into your twist and so on. Use your breath. Inhale, straighten, and lengthen. Exhale, tummy muscles engaged and moving into the deeper twist. Breathe deeply. Extending on the inhalation. Add your right arm when you're ready. Yeah. And as you exhale, squeeze your tummy muscles in and moving into the deeper twist. Again, checking how you feel. Just building the awareness in your body, awareness on all the physical sensations, on the energy flow, the flow of the breath, how we feel. On your next exhale, come back. Okay, take a moment, inhale, lengthen, shoulders back, your ears back, relax your neck, relax and soften, and then stretch your legs. To the front to give your legs a little shake relax 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 very good so now nice and easy watch me for a moment we're going to find the block or folded blanket and we're going to place here under the hips we're going to stay here for a moment so this is the, your preparation for the bridge pose and i want you to just stay here for a moment just check in how you feel and we're going to stay 30 seconds, then we're going to move that block away. Or you, if you feel, okay, this is so lovely, I'm going to stay on the block. That's fine, you can stay on the block. Or you go into the bridge pose. Option one, staying on your elbows and your shoulders. Option two, interlacing your fingers, rolling the shoulders closer. Option three, lifting one leg at a time, taking deep breath and then release. So if you feel lower back is not very happy. So you do, what you do is soften your groins, soften your buttocks, and stay there or here, just keep softening. Or if you want to go back on the block or on the blanket, go for it. So just, this is easy for the lower back. This is nice and passive opening. Okay, so please do grab the blanket or the block. We do it together, okay? And lie down on the block or the blanket under the hips. Rachel, you're going to skip this posture, please. Okay. So we're going to end the rest of the class, hips on the block or the blanket. Just take a moment here. This is the beginning of the back bend. Check your shoulder blades flat on the floor. Let's just flatten a little bit more the shoulder blades on the floor. Now think about your feet. Make your feet hips width apart. And if, if you look at the sides, you want to see your heels 
beneath your knees or just bring your heels a little closer to the block, closer to your body. Okay, breathe deeply. Imagine that you can breathe into your sternum, open your chest. Well done. Another deep breath. Now think about your next move. Maybe you feel, okay, this is just enough, I've got to stay here, this is just lovely for my back. Or we're going to move that block to the side, keep your hips lifted, press your elbows into the floor, lift your chest a little higher, lift the hips a little higher, and check how the lower back, do you need to soften your groins and soften your buttocks, please do so. Squeeze your feet and your shins towards each other, squeeze, steady legs, press your heels down, and breathe. Maybe interlace your fingers beneath your back, roll the shoulders closer, breathe deeply, press your arms into the floor stronger. This is a lovely posture to strengthen the upper body and to stretch the lower back. And if you're happy to lift one leg up, please go for it. Listen to your back, you don't have to do everything. <clears throat> Deep breath. Change your legs if you do legs. Take another leg up, point your toes upwards. Still stretching the front of the body. Great. And now we're going to release the pose. Feet, hips, width apart. Move your arms to the sides. Descend your buttocks down first, and then the parts of your back, and then straighten your legs on the floor and shake your legs. Give your legs a little shake, 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 shake. Relax, relax, relax. And we do once more. Again, choose what you want to do. Block under the hips or bend your knees, bend your elbows, press with your elbows into the floor, lift your chest, and then lift the hips. Okay, this is the beginning of the back bend. You can stop here. Or interlace your fingers, press your arms into the floor stronger, breathe deeply. And maybe even lift one leg up. You're listening to your body. How's your back doing? Take it easy with easy option if you need. That's great. Change your leg. If you're doing legs, take another leg up. Breathe. Press your shoulders and your elbows into the floor stronger. Lift your chest higher. And then release everyone, slow, move your arms out to the side, buttocks go down first, parts of your back, relax your legs, give your legs a little shake again, relax, relax, relax your legs, they worked very hard, relax, relax, and then bring your knees to your chest, and we're going to do again this self massage, rocking from side to side, and then rolling, clockwise direction, anti-clockwise direction, and let's check that you're using your tummy muscles when you do this rocking and rolling. Okay, don't worry to do much big movements. Please do use your core muscles. So rocking and rolling from side to side, clockwise direction, anti-clockwise direction. This is lovely self-massage for your back and the hips. Very good. And then get ready for final relaxation. Okay, so what do you need for final relaxation? If you need blankets, if you're at home and if you're a little bit chilly, then take the blanket, cover yourself with the blanket and lie down on the floor. If you are in the garden, cover your face, protect your eyes from the sun, okay? And reach your lying on your side. Yes, on your side, make yourself comfortable. Okay, so Shavasana, looks like that if you're not sure, you take your legs wider than the hips, take your arms to the sides, relax your shoulders, relax the back of the head on the floor. Okay, and then check space between your feet wider than the hips. Press your hips into the floor. Restore the lumbar space. There is a space between the lower back and your yoga mat. Relax your shoulders, shoulder blades flat on the floor, arms away from your body, palms facing upwards. 
back of the head, nicely balanced on the floor. Or maybe just roll your head from side to side, relax your neck muscles, then come back to the middle and find that point of the balance for your head. Smile to relax your facial muscles. Leave the beginning of the smile on your face. Softly close your eyes. Feel your forehead becoming wider and smoother. Relax your scalp. Relax your ears. The skin beneath your ears. And relax your breathing. Slow down your breath. Lie down and relax. Just slow down your breath. Mentally scan your whole body. From the crown of the head to the tips of your toes. Exhale and soften. Exhale and let go of all the unnecessary tension. It might be physical tension, it might be stress, anxiety, or just negative emotions. Exhale and let go. Use your breath and your intention, letting go of all the unnecessary tension. With each breath becoming softer, more relaxed, Finding your way to the still, calm center of your being, to a place of wholeness, completeness and integrity. From that place of calmness, we become more sensitive to how we feel and think. You might get thrown off center by life's challenges and when you do, you find your way back again and again to that place of wholeness, completeness and integrity. Keep awareness on your breath. And again, just checking the whole body, every part of the body, how you feel. We stay with our present experience right here, right now. Slow down, slow down your thoughts, slow down your breath. your relaxation and short meditation comes to the end. Bring your awareness back to your surroundings, to the room, to the garden you are in. Deepen your breath, extend your inhalations, exhalations, reawakening the energy in your body. Make little movements, wriggle your toes and your fingers. Slide your legs together, arms by the side of your body. Inhale and stretch. Take your arms or your head on the floor. Stretch the stretch away from the waistline. And then hug your knees with your, chest, with, with your hands closer to your chest and rock from side to side. 
Do that a few times. Then roll over to your right hand side. Come up to the sitting and then sit comfortably with your hands in Anjani Mudra in front of your heart. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And as you exhale, slightly lean back just to feel that strong support of your back muscles. Support, steadiness of the universe. Reflect your practice, reflect your intention of the practice. Notice how you feel. Enjoy extra strength, flexibility and clarity of mind. Wishing yourself health, happiness and freedom from suffering. We finish with one gentle OM. Exhale first. Inhale. Oh. Bow your head to your heart, to the light within you, and open your eyes. Well done, everyone. Thank you very much. Namaste. And have a lovely day, everyone. We'll be back. <laughs>